Good morning everyone, it is 12 o'clock and today is day 6 on my challenge and I basically slept again a bit longer, I'm just trying to find my phone here we go because I want to show you something I'm using an app called Sleep Cycle at the top of these bars, these peaks means when you're awake and the bottom ones show you when you're asleep, deep asleep and in total it gives you statistics saying I was in bed 9 hours and 46 minutes went to bed at 1 a.m. and 37 so very late and I got up at 11.30 and then it says sleep quality is like 86% so basically that was a shitty night Yeah, I, um, I was out so I actually went to the cinema as you've seen and the film ended late and I actually ate a bit more than I thought so I jumped on the scale and it was 92.4 again but you know what it's not a big deal I mean it's just I need for the next two days I'm gonna tighten up my uh, diet a little bit and then it's gonna be fine but generally speaking I'm you know it looks looks all right in terms of uh, body it's not all about weight as we know but I'm sort of planning to hit around 91 or a little bit about or less 91 at the end of the week so that's not going to be a big deal if I stick to my diet 100%. But yesterday, I just felt like I need to eat some more. And the way I do this normally, I know my body quite well. I know sort of, you know, when I'm hungry, when I'm full, when I need to stop when I had enough. And yesterday, I definitely knew I'm eating more than I need. I need to sort my washing as well, by the way. Alright, I wanted to give you like a little body update. Now the thing is, I am not a competitor, I have no idea how to pose, so I'm gonna try my best. Ready to go, got my Superman hat on today. Masters on the universe are staying at home and let's rock the day. some new water called Fiji water because um, with everything you should try to change it up and not always drink the same so I went to another shop called Apostrophe which in my opinion actually makes the best black coffee Yeah, I want to do something different. I want to actually answer a couple of your questions um, live on every vlog because I normally type these answers, uh, you know, I answer your questions personally on, on every comment, but I, I figured that most of you don't read comments of other people, which is fine. So I thought I'll just pick out a couple and uh, we'll just, you know, one or two every vlog and that way everyone benefits from it. I hope that's a good idea. Now, one question which stuck out to me and I want to address that here was, Mark, how, how are you able to afford all of this stuff, you know, in terms of uh, your food? Isn't that expensive? And what do you do for a living? So, I'm a personal trainer, uh, meaning I train people one-to-one -one in fitness. I coach people online with uh, diet plans and stuff, and basically uh, also go to... Our, I'm, I'm booked as, as a, let's say, fitness educator, so I go in front of groups and teach, you know, anything about fitness, health, lifestyle, body, and so on. Why am I able to do this? Because I studied sports science at university in Cologne for five years. So I got a master's degree in sports science. And I've got nearly 18 years of experience within the fitness industry. So uh, I trained over 15,000 people face to face. And yeah, it positions me as an expert in the field. Now, you can also, you know, in terms of uh, making a living as a personal trainer, you can fail totally. You can, you know, you can earn zero money if you don't know what you're doing but uh, you know for me to be honest it's like a little secret 
I wasn't really good at school. The only thing I was really good at was sports. So that's the path I chose. You know, I, I urge you to do the same. If there's something in your life what you're really good about it, focus on that. Become an expert in that field. And that's the only way forward. Because knowing everything and every bit about everything is not gonna earn you money. It's like with the example of, an, of a doctor. They both study medicine. One is a heart surgeon, heart specialist, and the other one is a normal GP. The heart surgeon earns something around 500,000 to up to a million uh, pound a year, whereas the normal doctor is something like 80K or 100K. The heart surgeon can even earn more, right? So the more specific or more narrow down you are, the better it is. My clientele as a personal trainer really varies a lot. So I've got kids which are like six years old up to, you know, um, elderly people in their 70s, 75 year olds. But then also in terms of job, it varies totally. I've got like high profile VIPs and uh, musicians and actors, stuff like that. And then I've got, let's say the normal business person or just, uh, let's say a house. And um, so it doesn't really matter where they're coming from. But what I'm a real specialist in is helping people to achieve their goal really, really quick in, in terms of body transformation, in terms of weight loss and martial arts. That's sort of my niche. That's where I'm an expert in. And yeah, that's that. Another question I want to address was from Ivan. And he says, Mark, I love your vlogs, it's great, but for example, the protein house, I can't find that in Belgium. Now the thing is, what I'm gonna do as of now, every sort of uh, tool and, and thing I'm used, I'm gonna link that in the description below so you can check it out yourself. And well, Protein House is a company which is just sort of in the UK, in London. It has like, I think, three branches. So you won't find that anywhere else. But generally speaking, a company who provides you with fitness food, you will find plenty of those. So just have a look and browse on the internet. You should find some of them if, you're, if you fancy doing some of that. Now, he's also asking, so how long have you been hitting the gym? Well, in terms of the gym, it's really hard to say because my career as a sports person didn't start in the gym. It started as a martial arts person. So I basically, when I was seven years old, I started martial arts. And ever since then, it, it grew in terms of different sports. I, I did gymnastics, I uh, did martial arts professionally, went to the world champions and European champions in martial arts. And alongside with that, I always was going to the gym, probably as of the age of 16, 15, to then supplement or complement my training. It wasn't like I was just a sort of gym person because um, to, be, to be fair, my goal was always to perform in my sport to an optimum level. And just going to the gym, let's say, and doing bench press and squats and stuff wouldn't really do it for me because I do like um, being good at a sport, but that's preference, so I would say the answer to your question is 16. Ivan also wants to know, what do you think about drinking a protein shake after workout? Now, the thing is with protein shakes and generally supplements, I'm gonna make a separate video on that because that's gonna go on and on and on now, why I think you should be taking it or not taking it, what kind of supplement and so on, so I'm thanking you for reminding me and if I do forget it, you know, please keep reminding me because I think supplements is such a big topic we should talk about. And I do believe there's a place for them. And I think people should take them, but I also think people shouldn't take them. So what I mean by that is, stay tuned. Now talking about uh, is, is a protein shake good for you after your workouts, what kind of shakes and so on. I could talk about that now, but I want to give that into, I want to give you a sort of framework we can all talk about and think about before I now say, yeah, protein shakes are great. You should be drinking them after your workout, okay? Ooh. All right, guys, I'm in the gym right now. I've done one round already, and I'm probably wearing the worst gym kit ever. Like, uh, like a yellow shirt with white pants, black shoes. I look like shit, but you know, I didn't think about it when I, you know, you have these guys who go to the gym and they're all kitted out and stuff, but they don't put in the work, so who gives a shit? It's more important to put in the work than to look good, right? I hope you give give me a like for that. If not, I know what kind of guy you are. Fuck oh, yeah. I did it in. You can see. I started at 3:10, so basically one hour and one minute. It's a new record of getting it all done, and yeah, I'm just 
I'm super sweaty, as you can see. But yeah, so this was six days uh, or day six of thousand reps. Tomorrow's my off day, uh, meaning I'm not going to do any exercise in terms of the thousand reps. But it's going to be a different sort of day, and I'll explain that tomorrow why I'm doing that. So I'm just going to have a shower, get cleaned up because in one and a half hours I actually have a client here and then I'm gonna have some food so I'll see you guys around yeah so I just finished in the gym with my client now it's 6 30 I actually need to go home and um, cut the video I haven't cut the video yet but I'm gonna grab some salad from Waitrose Waitrose is like a in the UK like out market sort of a supermarket where you can get some really good quality food so I'm gonna grab some salad and and I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna eat. Yeah, so I'm on my way home and I'm really fucking exhausted. I tell you guys, I can't wait for my rest day tomorrow. Um, my actually plan was that I'm gonna, you know, eat something now, but I'm just gonna have a banana and actually hit the bed for two hours. And then I'm gonna start my editing process because I'm just knackered, to be honest. But yeah, that's what this series is about. It's raw, it's real, and I'm tired of you sleep. nap is over it's time to do some video cutting so I've got my laptop everything set up here my little GoPro I'm gonna upload in a second and then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be eating uh, in a bit I'm in the middle of editing as you can see over here um, and in between with my editing I'm gonna eat this steak uh, asparagus grated cheese and a bit of chicken now this was full I already ate that and that was a uh, sweet potato um, what else was in there avocado and a bit of chicken so I ate that and then more is to come so I just wanted to keep you updated what I'm eating so yeah I'm gonna finish this editing and I'm gonna show you my actual meal all right I finished my editing now this whole thing the export takes now one and a half hours so I'm gonna watch the film and I'm gonna eat and what am I gonna eat I'm gonna a salad like a massive salad bowl so you can see sort of the comparison and I had one more of these boxes which is chicken asparagus as and uh, avocado and I put a little bit of uh, cheese on top grated cheese so that's the last thing I'm gonna be eating and no that's not true the last thing is gonna be fish oil but I'm gonna talk about supplements as promised later and tomorrow is my off day, my chill day, I've got only one client and I'll see you tomorrow.